der, die, das, dem, den, des. Six words and they're all just different ways of saying the. Hi, I'm Rachel and this is Meet the Germans. Even the Germans themselves will tell you, deutsche Sprache, schwere Sprache. The German language is tough. And it's not just grammatical variations that will send non-native speakers round the bend. There's also length to contend with. I get exhausted just looking at some German words. Schaufensterscheibe. Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Donau, Dampfschifffahrts. Oh, come on. Kannst du mir helfen und das vielleicht vorlesen? Donau Dampfschiffsfahrts Elektrizitäten Hauptbetriebswerk Bauunterbeamtengesellschaft. Respect. And that's a real word. It means Association for Subordinate Officials of the Head Office Management of the Danube Steamboat Electrical Services. You won't find it in the dictionary, but it did make it into the Guinness Book of Records, all 80 letters of it. German words are such a mouthful because they're often just a whole bunch of nouns crammed together. But the result is logical. In fact, you can kind of imagine how some of these words were invented. Someone stumbles across something for the first time and simply says what they see. Cool cupboard. Hand. Shoe. Hand shoe. Glow pair. Fly thing. Shine thrower. It can also get pretty poetic. Some German compound nouns perfectly sum up emotions or ideas that we just don't have words for in English, like Kummerspeck. That translates as misery bacon or sorrow fat. It's the extra weight you put on after a breakup. Or there's Flurfunk or corridor radio. The information and rumors that circulate between employees, usually heard on the corridor. For German language learners, there are all sorts of things waiting to trip you up. Not least of all, the German words that look like English words and lull you into a false sense of security. The false friends. To wink is actually to wave, and to become is to receive. Although your handy is pretty handy, in German it doesn't mean handy, it means mobile phone. A bat is nothing bad, it's a bathroom. Oh, and a chef, it's not a cook, it's your boss. In Germany, you go to a gymnasium, not to train your body, but your brain. It's a type of school. What about preservative? Is it some kind of chemical or jam? No, it's a condom. Not interchangeable. Let's deal with one more quirk of the German language. These are the words which aren't really words. They're more like sounds or grunts even. Throw a few of these into a conversation with a German and you'll be sure to impress. Huch! Hä? Bar. Nö. Nö? Na? Boah. Und was bedeutet das? <lacht> Wenn man sich erschreckt. Hey bedeutet ein überraschendes Nicht-Glauben. Bar ist ein Ausdruck von Ekel. Ja, normal auf äh, Hochdeutsch heißt das auch schon äh, Nein. Ach, so ein bisschen eine Nachfragenummer, ob das beim anderen angekommen ist. Na, heißt, äh, wie geht's? Wenn etwas außergewöhnlich schön oder außergewöhnlich besonders ist, dann würde ich sagen, boah, das ist toll. German? Difficult? Nö. No. If you've got any more examples, tell us in the comments. And join us next time for more from Meet the Germans.